Aloha and welcome to the special in-flight edition of Ocean Paddler TV on Hawaiian Skies. I'm Kalai Miller and today we'll focus on the world championships of long distance outrigger canoe paddling. Every year paddlers from across the globe flock to the islands to compete and experience this grueling 41 mile long open ocean race between the islands of Molokai and Oahu across the often treacherous Ka'iwi Channel. For the women, it's the Navahini Oke Kai, and for the men, it's called the Molokai Hoi. Now, depending on age and gender divisions, anywhere from nine to 12 paddlers take turns paddling these traditional six-man canoes across the Kaivi Channel to the shores of Waikiki. Now, open ocean conditions can vary greatly from year to year, but what the ladies experience in this Navahini Oke Kai was a true test of survival in extreme ocean conditions. A large and rare northwest swell had built overnight. And in the morning, 15 to 20 foot sets were closing out the harbor mouth, making it very challenging for these ladies just to make it to the starting line. Check it out. What we're witnessing this morning is absolute carnage here at the harbor entrance of Haleolono. These women are trying to make it out to the starting line and timing in between the sets. Some of them made it, a few of them did it. We've just had the start of the 34th annual Navahini OK Kai at just after 8 a.m. this morning. The crews you see behind me are the true survivors, a testament to these ladies and their steersperson that they were able to make it out through those incredible sets. So right now, looks like the ladies from Beach Boys, our defending champions here this year, are back in the lead and making their way to La Ao Point. This is defending champions Waikiki Beach Boys. They took an outside line coming off the start and over the last five to 10 minutes, they've really been capitalizing on some surf. And in a few minutes, they'll be into the Kaivi channel and making their first set of changes. Behind us, our leaders, Team Bradley, are trying to surf their way up to Kalia Beach in Waikiki. Probably only as much as a half a mile behind them is defending champions Waikiki Beach Boys and only a couple of minutes is separating these crews as they work towards Waikiki. Behind us, the women of Waikiki Beach Boys, defending champions. Right now, they're running in second place about a half mile back from Team Bradley. That's quite a bit to make up between here and the finish line. Let's check it out.
Team Bradley has just rounded the buoy here, headed into Kalia Beach at Waikiki and the finish line of the Navahini Okekai. Six years they won this race. Last year dethroned by the Waikiki Beach Boys. And now it's time once again for these ladies to celebrate. What an incredible race. We are happy to report though, that none of these paddlers were seriously injured. Congratulations go out to all our competitors, but especially our top finishers. In first place, it was Team Bradley with a time of six hours and 14 minutes, followed closely in second place by the ladies from the Waikiki Beach Boys. And in third, it was Huinalu. Two weeks later, it was time for the men to battle the Kaivi Channel, and the conditions could not have been more different. The trade winds backed off to an unusual calm and the sun was scorching, setting the stage for an absolute slugfest between defending champions Shelva from Tahiti and Hawaii's top teams like Team Primo. Check it out. Just before 8 o'clock in the morning, we've had the start of the 60th running of the Molokai Hoi on their way across the Kaivi Channel. Over 106 crews of men battling it out. So it's a very diverse field, and we're hoping for a lot of battles out in the channel today. This is Team EDT Ba'a from Tahiti in a surprise first place position right now, probably 100 to 200 yards in front of defending champions Shell Ba'a. Now the leaders have already started to separate themselves from the rest of the pack and this is the point where course line decisions are going to make a big impact. They are already five degrees off south. Everybody's heading real south today. We're going to see if that's going to be a good course choice. One of the local Hawaii favorites, Team Primo, is running in one of the top 10 positions for sure. As you can see, way in the distance behind them are the lead boats from Shelva'a and EDT. Now they are running basically a straight line to Oahu. This Team Primo is running south of where they are. And Team Lanikai is running north. Depending on the current and the tide, we'll see which one of these teams have picked the best line. Behind us, as we approach the shores of Diamond Head, it's our leaders, Shel Va'a, the reigning champions, maintaining a three to 400 yard lead over their closest competition, EDT. And the amazing part is that they're able to maintain an 80 plus strokes per minute rate, even this far into the race. The intensity that they attack each stroke with and are able to maintain is absolutely awe-inspiring. Just an absolutely amazing performance put on by Shelva and EDT today. EDT still on their heels, just a few hundred yards back, but it looks like it's gonna be seven championships for the men from Tahiti. Shelva, there's nothing more that can be said about these gentlemen that have displayed incredible levels of fitness and just came out here and put an absolute smackdown on the rest of the field. Congratulations to Shelva.
These types of conditions can be very challenging for paddlers. The combination of hardly any waves to surf and a blazing sun can make for a very long day for even the best paddlers. Congratulations to all our competitors, but especially these top finishers. In first place, it was defending champion Shell Va'a from Tahiti in a time of five hours and 15 minutes, followed by EDT Va'a, also from Tahiti, and Shell Va'a's second team in third place. The top finishing Hawaii crew was Live Strong from the Big Island in fourth place, followed by Team Primo from Maui in fifth. Hey, mahalo for joining us for this special in-flight edition of Ocean Paddler TV on Hawaiian Skies. We hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. I'm Kala'i Miller, and as we say in the islands, Hoi pa!